Okay, Paroma, um, you don't understand why we need to use the idea of hybridization um, for nitrogen because according to you, there is already enough place. So, let's see here one moment. According to you, this is the electronic configuration for nitrogen as you've correctly drawn. So, that's helium. That's 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. So you're saying that when it bonds with three hydrogens, you will get simply atomic orbital overlap with these three and therefore there's no need for hybridization. Okay, there is one fundamental problem with using this idea for nitrogen. Look at these. These are 2px, 2py, 2pz orbitals, atomic orbitals. As you know, they are mutually perpendicular to each other. And therefore, if you actually looked at the structure of, hydrogen, of uh, ammonia, you should find that the hydrogen-nitrogen-hydrogen hydrogen bond angle should be 90 degrees. Yes, because these orbitals are in fact at 90 degrees to each other. However, what's found is this, that the orbitals are actually closer to approximately 107 degrees. Compare that with 90. That should be the case if you use the theory uh, that no hybridization takes place. If you use the idea that no hybridization takes place, your, what you've explained here, you get this. But this is what the real number is. So therefore, you obviously something's wrong somewhere. Try using Vesper theory. And according to hybridization and the Vesper theory, what we said was, you need to count the number of lone pairs and bond pairs, right? So if you write the structure of ammonia, this is your bond pair, I'm sorry, lone pair. These are the single um, bonds for coming for electrons coming from nitrogen for bonding. These are the electrons coming from hydrogen, right? And therefore, that becomes your ammonia structure yeah this is your ammonia structure let's count the number of pairs involved um, so here we go this is a lone pair so that's one these three are bond pairs so that's two three and four so you've got four EP number as four according to the notes that we did and if you look at the notes, it will tell you that this leads to sp3 hybridization. Um, please look at the notes from here on to see uh, how to um, figure out molecular shapes. And if you have trouble, please let me know.